guys welcome back to my channel today's video is another cooking video this time we're cooking some meatloaf um, this picture right here you just see an arranged salad I had been eating off of and I was using some of those ingredients to prepare my meatloaf to help me prepare my meatloaf so here are some of the ingredients ketchup uh, minced garlic and egg and bread um, I also use some seasoning garlic powder onion powder and Tony Satry's seasoning salt um, I think that's yeah that's oh and then I use some um, brown gra gravy I buy it in the, it comes in a pack but I buy the large container and now that's this is an old video I actually filmed this in May but I made me love again and I used Italian seasoned uh, Italian se Italian seasoned uh, bread crumbles and let's see what else yeah pretty much kept it the same oh also here I use some dried bell peppers which gives it more of a kick so that, those were all the ingredients that I added to there and I um, still do that now okay so here I just mashed up the meatloaf the meat the raw ground meat and I added the dry bell peppers and the fresh red and green bell peppers I like to use both because it just gives it um, a strong bell pepper flavor which is really good in ground meat and then I added some red bell I mean not red bell peppers red onions here and I'm going to add some yellow onions the red onions are stronger than the yellow onions so it just brings out the flavor a lot more and the last the very last time I prepared me I forgot to add the red onions but it was still really good so you can go without the red onions or keep it so now I'm just seasoning the meat with um, probably some onion powder and then that's the um, it looks like I'm adding a lot but it's that's the brown gravy mix and you can add uh, I, I didn't really measure anything I just put to my liking but I know for sure you can at least do like a tablespoon each since it was a large meatloaf five pounds of meat and there I add some chopped up mushrooms now I'm adding the minced garlic so adding a lot of vegetables to your meatloaf adds a lot of flavor oh excuse my phone I'm getting a lot of alerts I forgot to turn put my phone on airplane mode so excuse the this uh, alerts I'm getting and this is just Tony Satchery's. It has a lot of seasonings in it aside from salt. This is what I use to as my salt. So it may look like I'm adding a lot, but there's other things in there aside from salt. So you have to add quite a bit to get it seasoned pretty well. So yeah, the normally I chop my the bell peppers and up. I chop them up smaller than what you saw, but remember I said it came from my arranged salad I made that I was eating off of for the week and I just didn't chop it up but it, it doesn't matter you can have them big or chop them up smaller so now I'm adding an egg in to um, keep the meatloaf together you may you want to add at least one or two eggs this time I added one but you can add two and I'm using a slice of bread but the last time I made meatloaf last week, remember I recorded this in May, but the last time I made meatloaf, I used Italian breadcrumbs just to give it a little more flavor. Just add flavor wherever you can without having to add salt or sodium. And then I put some ketchup in there. I got this trick from my mom. Ketchup and meatloaf go really good together. I think she would even add a little bit of barbecue sauce to hers, which I do sometimes, but I stopped when I started doing the brown gravy, which I got that trick from my grandmother. And before I started adding brown gravy, my meatloaf was good, but now it just really tastes good. Brown gravy is like a secret ingredient for meatloaf. 
and um, you see me here just mashing everything up it's I mean you can use a fork if you want but it's best to just get your hands dirty and get in there and mix it all together and get everything incorporated really well and you just blend mix until you you know until it looks like everything is blended and you don't want to mix too much because you don't want it to be too mushy the texture will change when it's cooked if you if you mix it too much so just mix it long enough to just get all the ingredients mixed together and well you know incorporate it well and a trick I try to use is one side the man not mayonnaise I just can't think and I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna record this over mistakes and all are gonna be in here once the ketchup is blended and you don't really see just blobs of ketchup that's how I know I'm done mixing so it's mixed just enough without over mixing I mean to me it's just like the meatloaf will be a lot more firm if you mix it too much and I don't I prefer mine to have a softer texture I really can't explain it but if you over mix it you'll know what I'm talking so I cooked it for about maybe 30-45 minutes. It's not burned. It looks like it, but it's not burned or burnt. So that container there, you that's where I'm gonna pour all the grease. And as you may have seen before, when I put the meatloaf in the pan, it covered the whole pan. But meatloaf has a lot of fat and water. Not meatloaf, meat, just you know the ground meat period, it has a lot of fat and water in it. So it shrinks a lot. I lost probably a third of that meatloaf once um, all the fat, well most of the fat was cooked out. Because it's not touching the sides anywhere. Oh, here comes Jared. Come dancing into the kitchen. I don't have the, the uh, volume on in the video, but he's just saying hi to you all. Now this here, I normally use like tomato sauce or um, the brown gravy with like chopped up vegetables, mainly like tomato sauce with chopped up vegetables, but I didn't have any, so I was like, okay, I'm going to try this ketchup. And that turned out to be the best topping ever that I've ever experienced for a meatloaf. So from there on out, I just use ketchup on top. It tastes so good. It, it creates a glaze on top. You don't have to mix it with anything. You just put the catch, squeeze the ketchup on, and put it back in the oven. And you gotta put it back in the oven for mm, how long? 15, no more than 15 minutes. It wasn't very long, 10, 15 minutes, just to kind of cook that um, uh, ketchup and it created a glaze so that's how it looked afterwards and thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you guys later bye